well, what do you know? I got that free balloon from Elpa Z Delta, which has uh, been working with uh, Autism Speaks. And I got uh, some chocolates from talking with um, some folks that have started a new uh, public health club on campus. And being that I work at the Center for Leadership and Disability and that it's in public health, I got some chocolates and I gave them a business card. What's more exciting is that there are people that are um, offering a program where you can go away to Japan for two weeks to learn Japanese. And I think I'd like to give that a try if I could, depending on what my school schedule is. And here's one of the goodies I got from them. So, um, and then I have a lollipop in my bag somewhere. <laughs> Never mind, I can't find it. Happy Valentine's Day anyway. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Here's that cherry flavor that I've been curving. I love you, YouTube. And I love what I'm doing with the autistic community. And I love vlogging. And I love filming. I love editing. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, and most of all, I love my kitty. Love my job and my colleagues. <laughs> One, two, three, fuck it. Yeah. 
Um, I'm spending a quiet evening with my little lover. This is, um, of course, this is Applejack Mac, and uh, I don't know if I would call her my date, but at least I have someone to cuddle on. Uh, I'm going to get ready to sign off now, but first I'd like to tell you a fun story. So back in 2001, um, my mother and my sister and I went to the Animal Humane Society of Minnesota in Minneapolis, and my sister was going to go get some birds, and I decided to go look at kittens just for the sake of it. And when I was walking in there, there were all these little showrooms with all of these uh, cat trees that are built right into the different rooms. And um, each room had a window where you could look at the cats. And one room had this great big orange and white cat. And always when I uh, would go to uh, the Humane Society, I'd always get attracted to the really big orange cats or the really big orange and white cats. And as I was walking, there was this orange and white cat, and he was looking right at me through the window, and I saw him meow at me, and my mom was going, Maya, Maya. And I just, I was too entranced by him, even though uh, we were there for my sister because her birthday was right around the corner. And I just kept on walking, and I um, I went into the uh, this room, and my mom followed me in there, and sure enough, this kitty came down and started uh, head-butting my hand, and letting me pet him, and my mom said, oh, those are some nice cats, and I got him mistaken for another kitty. So, um, my mom looked up the name for him, I thought his name was King, because I saw online, there was another kitty named King that looked just like this orange, cat, this white cat with orange spots, and so I went to go look at other cats, and then my mom came and got me and told me the cat's name was Nachos, and she was thinking about adopting him, but he was 75. And being who I am, I didn't want to leave uh, the cat uh, because I liked him too much. I had to have him. So I paid for it nachos, and I brought him home. And uh, that night, it was Valentine's 2000, and at one, uh, I was going to bed. Nachos was under my bed, and as I was getting ready to go to sleep, he came out from under the bed, and I thought he was going to leave the room. And no, he jumped up on my bed. And he start, he's walked over to me and he started purring. And the next thing you know, he curled up next to me and just wouldn't stop purring. So in my mind, I thought of a, um, a little heart and just that heart closing at the end of the day with me going to sleep with a purring cat on my bed. And that was the best experience of my life. So now this is, uh, it's said, let's see, it's, uh, um, I can't think. It's 17 years later, and now I have a different cat, and of course, um, she's a big orange girl, too, and uh, I have Applejack Mac. If you can hear her, she's purring. Come here. I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, basically, as you guys saw, I had dinner tonight, and you saw that I had some amazing adventures for Valentine's Day, and I even shared a story with you guys, uh, not related to autism, just things that I'm passionate about, especially my favorite story about nachos. Um, it's rather a sad um, ending what happened to him. I mean, he didn't get put to sleep or anything, but I don't really care to go into it. I would rather live now. I have a kitty to sit, sitting next to me, I pet her right here at the present time, and I'm sure you're enjoying her too, but um, I've also enjoyed having Valentine's dinner. I didn't even need to pay uh, big bucks for um, a steak dinner when I could make my own baked potato since I had some lying around, and I had some chicken drumsticks, and I just had to cook those and uh, prepare to them for work, and then I took the third one, and I had that for my supper, and I had some salad, a spring mix that I didn't want to go to waste, so there was my Thanksgiving dinner minus a, uh, like a strawberry cupcake that I could have gotten at Walmart or something, which is right down the street, but I don't think that's a problem because I got all kinds of goodies today on campus. I mean, they had uh, all those cherry suckers. I mean, you saw them earlier, and you also saw I had some bubble gum and everything else, so I don't think I'm necessarily suffering. 
Um, what else did I do tonight? So, oh yeah, I looked at the $40 flowers um, on the corner of that uh, the, the Shell station where I catch my bus. And actually, I learned that there were more than just uh, tacky stuffed animals. They were ex they were selling some really expensive flower arrangements and. I believe me, I wanted those roses because A, my middle name is Rose, and B, it's just kind of special. Oh, well, at least I got it on footage. Can't wait to show you guys that. But um, either way, I'm about to sign up. But before I do, I'd like you guys to check out this uh, video on YouTube. This is uh, about a young man who, or a little boy who was on. Uh, Super Nanny a couple years ago, and he's autistic, and uh, Joe Frost was trying to get him uh, as much therapy as possible in order to get him to speak and communicate. However, I'd like you guys to take a look at that video, and I'd like to get your opinion, because I don't agree with everything that they were teaching on there uh, as an autistic, but that's just me. Uh, I am inspired to hear that they were trying to get him to talk, and I was curious about that. Um, but uh, you can also check out my written blogs on wordpress.com, which are scholarly and practical application. Uh, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now, and happy Valentine's Day. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>